and I tell you what, I reckon Marcus would probably walk away from that thinking, geez, I probably could have bagged one or two more there. Of course, he had the penalty miss and that chance right toward the end of the game. But here, let's recap all the goals as well. We saw, like I touched on at the, at the halftime review, that really he was in control of the game for the majority of it. He would score, and then as soon as he would finally hit the back of the net, Marcus Gomes, it would be the Mariners, it would be Kyron Fieber who comes right back and is able to score almost instantaneously. But then it would switch back to Marcus Gomes dominate the ball and he'd pick up the second. And then once again, it would switch back. Just give Ronaldo way too much space to run. Goes the whole way. Let's fly from downtown. A brilliant strike to beat David De Gea. But from that point on, it really turned into all Marcus Gomes. And there was really nothing that Kyron Fever could do to get back into it. He fought hard. He came close on occasion. But, I mean, really, it was all Marcus Gomes in this first, or in this second half especially. A bit of a fortunate goal there, the fourth one. Yeah, well, I can't believe there was only two goals scored in that entire game. Highlights galore. Opportunities galore. As we can see there, Mo getting a goal in about the half hour mark and then he was able to extend his lead in the 72nd minute mark with Messi going. That was a lovely finish there. Look, unlucky is one word, but credit there to Double for an epic performance. As I said before, he's really come on leaps and bounds this tournament to become, I'd say, one of the strongest competitors. As we have a look at some of his goals in that 4-0 drubbing, really, his 1-2 passing was fantastic. Really got in and around that box, as you see there, that D. He just waits, waits, finds the pass, the turn, and finds the back of the net. That made it 2-0. You can see, that's the look of a confident competitor in my books. Holding it in and around there. A turn once more, Ronaldinho with a lovely finish into the bottom corner. The cheeky smile and the cheeky fourth here. Ronaldo completing his hat trick. A lovely finish there into the top bins. And back to that game that we just saw there with uh, Adelaide United getting up themselves 4-0 with a, there was a spectacular goal that we saw in there as well. Yeah, well, I don't think anyone expected this. Probably paying about $3.50 on Sportsbet. So a um, bit of an upset, but um, something that to me is going to have to work on. But wow, look at that. The El Tornado. Wow. We finally saw it as a goal. We've seen a lot of people use it in build-up play, but there it was tonight. Yeah, that was incredible. What a great finish. And from there, obviously the confidence and he just went for it. Yeah, he just definitely it kept on going there. Another goal that we saw him to get that fourth goal at the end there, uh, whipping it in top ends. Back to his preferred console and play foot with Jamie, but being 4-0 down, who knows? And then the game that we just saw, the 3-3 draw between BL, FIFA and Saisanas. Saisanas was actually had lost his last three games going into this, and BL was in some very good form, so I didn't know what way it was going to go. Saisanas really needed to get back into it, and to be fair, he did come back and pull out a very good draw. Of course, we spoke to the boys just only a couple of minutes ago. Peter was able to pull that one there, being down 2 nil, got a counter-attack option, got Cristiano Ronaldo, fires it low and into the bottom left hand corner and then just when we thought maybe this thing was going to end 2-2 we've got a turnover there, Newcastle Ronaldo finding space where surely there was none, BL FIFA, super impressed with that goal obviously as you can tell and then right in the dead, in stoppage time, Peter Saisanas to take home the three or should I say to get the third goal in the game and to make it uh, basically null. 